Okay, so good morning everybody and welcome to a day off vlog. Um, we have some errands to run today, but first of all, I'm in the drive through for Starbucks. It's just two cars in front of me. I was gonna go for a Christmas drink. Today is November the 3rd. November the 3rd, I was gonna go for a Christmas drink, but on Friday, me and Jake are going to buy a Christmas bauble, which we do every year. We go to buy a Christmas bauble for the year. And I think I wanna to save to have my first Christmas drink that day. Um, so I will be vlogging that, so I'll have my first one. I was so tempted because it has my favorite Christmas drink, the creme brulee ones back in Starbucks. But I've just gone for my original um, salted cream cold brew drink. Um, if you watched my update a few while, a few months ago, you would have seen that I stopped coffee. I started introducing coffee back into um, my lifestyle about a month ago. I don't have it every day, um, but I just miss coffee not to have it. So I started drinking coffee again. My heart's all good. Oh, I'm next. Bear me a second. Hello. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have an have awesome day. We have got the goods. Let's park up. Awesome. Let's park up. Let's catch up. My chosen drink is salted caramel cream cold brew. So yeah, so today is a day off. Um, I'm in my trackies, I'm comfy, and I have some errands to run. The last two weeks we've had Jake's family here. They're actually still here now. They go home tomorrow. We've had so much fun. We went to Pennsylvania and did the Elk County um, and we've seen an elk. I'll upload the picture here. We were, didn't see one where the elk visitor center is, but driving back home, there was literally one just on the side of the road. It was massive. It was huge. It was amazing. It was like a huge bucket list thing that I wanted to tick off. So. Um, I did that. We went to Deku Falls hike, which is one of my favorite hikes, especially during autumn. It's beautiful. There was no one else on the hike, so it was just amazing. We did the Whirlpool hike, which was the bottom of the falls. Um, we drove to New York State to go shopping, and we had like a really good two weeks. I did work in between there. I had like five, six days of work, so I had like three days off, six days of work, and then three days off again. So I've had like a nice day's day off and feel relaxed um halloween was amazing i finished work at 7 p.m and i got home and the trick-or-treaters on my street was just insane um it was literally like the hocus pocus it was amazing my street go like all out for it like one of the guys that live on our street he does like a maze in his backyard so it was insane and yeah so i go back to work tomorrow um and i have some really fun exciting stuff coming up so really really exciting tim hortons invited me to their christmas um launch event in toronto and it's like the first event that i've been invited to myself like i've been as plus ones with some of my friends before but the fact that tim hortons invited me was really really exciting so i've invited one of my friends we're gonna go up because i have a plus one and jake's working so it's on Mon it's in da -da -da -da, it's in two weeks so we get to go up and they're collabing with Bailey's this year. So we get to try the menu before it launches, which is really exciting. My friend's also gonna be there that live in Toronto. They've been invited too. So it's nice just to catch up with them. So that's gonna be a vlog. Obviously me and Jake are gonna pick out our Christmas bauble once it, um, once a year we go to Niagara on the Lake, pick a Christmas bauble from the Christmas store. So I'm vlogging that and I've just kind of planned all of my videos running up to Christmas and I'm so, so excited. I've got some awesome collabs as well, which I've been reached out to, which is just, I'm literally at the minute like, I don't upload much on YouTube anymore, but I'm hopefully that will change over the next few weeks because I've planned my days off and when I'm filming. Um, so yeah, I've just had a really exciting time. I'm gonna have a bit of my coffee. But the other day, me and Jake went up to Ikea and we picked up, oh, I got fluff everywhere. Me and Jake went up to Ikea and we picked a bathroom unit because I miss having like lush bath bombs in the bathroom um, and it's smelling amazing. So we went to Ikea, we got a unit and then I went over to Buffalo and went to Lush because the nearest one to us is Hamilton, which is an hour away, but it's closed at the minute. So we went to Buffalo, which is an hour away and I went and stocked up on bath bombs and I'll show you later what I picked up. Um, so I just wanna go to the dollar store to pick up something to put my bath bombs in. 
so I'll take you guys along with me. Um, I have a free pass for the Buffalo Butterfly Museum in Niagara Falls, so I'm debating doing that too, just because I love going in there and just sitting and enjoy looking at the butterflies. So I might do that too. But yeah, it's just a nice, cozy day off vlog for you guys. First stop, we're going to Niagara Falls because they've got a huge Dollar Tree that have just opened. So let's have a little wander around there. Okay, we are here. I drove all the way to Niagara Falls. Actually, it wasn't that far. It was like 15 minutes uh, to come to a brand new, huge Dollar Tree. I don't know if you can see it. Um, a huge Dollar Tree and next door is a Goodwill so I might pop into Goodwill to see by the way guys I wanted to show you this really cute key ring I got it's like a little Duncan coffee but it's a lip gloss like if you open it here it's a lip balm how cute is that and um, I got it in the States last time I was there so we're going to pop into Dollar Store now and we're going to go check out what they've got. They've probably got loads of Christmas decorations, but I just need to go in there to get a container. Dollar Tree, everything is $1.25 or $1.50. I can't remember. I'll check when I'm in there. Then I might pop into Goodwill afterwards. Look how big this Dollar Tree is. Okay, this Dollar Tree is super quiet, so I can't vlog much because there's actually like two people in here and it's so quiet. But... It's absolutely huge. Okay, so we have found what I am looking for. I wonder if this will look cute on it. It's white. Or if I should get a white one. I just need something to put my bath bombs in. There's white down here. Let's look at the white. I think I'm going to have to go for this. I think this is the only one that they have. I hope it looks nice. It's only a dollar twenty-five. If it doesn't, I'll find something else for it. But so I've decided I didn't get that one twenty-five thing just because I just it just wasn't right. Every time I looked at, it, I was like, no. And also, it was really quiet in there, so I couldn't vlog. But I wanted to show you all the Christmas stuff. But I guess I could keep that for a Christmassy a Christmassy vlog. Um, I'm desperate for a wee, like I'm really desperate for a wee. I popped into Goodwill, there was nothing there and there was no toilet either. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to go to Niagara Falls. The ones that get oh, I love that song. Butterfly Place. Butterfly Conservatory. Let's see how far away that is because I need a wee really bad. 22 minutes away 22 minutes away for the butterfly butterfly conservatory okay so a lovely viewer gave me tickets and they found me on tiktok and they live in this area and they work for like niagara parks so they get like free tickets to the things that happen in niagara falls so i've got a ticket for the butterfly museum conservatory so we're going to go in there now let's go check out the butterflies i am so 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 excited so i'm in like this amphitheater room um and it's like a little video on loop of like about the butterfly place and some information about niagara parks which is quite cool and then just through that door there is where the butterflies are so we're gonna walk through there now so we've just come through and there's some butterflies in here <laughs> We're almost trying to fly into the camera. Oh, it's so beautiful in here. Look at the size of that butterfly. There's another one there. It looks like an eye on here. That's so creepy. My favourite has to be the bright blue ones. It's the ones that look like they have the eyes. Have like this amazing blue colour in the middle of them. I can hear it in your voice Though you haven't said that much Through an empty bottle I can see it all so clear All these broken pieces Will be scattered in the wind That was such fun experience I highly recommend I'll talk about it to you when we get back to the car but 
just putting my scarf back on to go outside. But that was amazing. Oh, I was in there for ages as well. Guys, that was so good. I'm absolutely sweating, so I have to take this off. Oh, it's really windy outside, but the sun is blaring and it's so hot. So, we just went into the Butterfly Conservatory in Niagara Park. It's right by the Whirlpool, which is the end of the falls. And it was so much fun. It was nice and quiet today. I literally sat there at one point for like 30 minutes just watching the butterflies and just like reflecting on this year so far and what's left of it and stuff. And it was just really therapeutic, therapeutic, therapeutic. Like that was such an amazing experience. I loved every minute of that. Um, like I said beforehand, I did luckily get in free there. So thank you so much for my viewer for giving me a ticket. But I think if you want to go, you can get a Niagara Parks Pass, which works out cheaper it starts at like 39 dollars and it means you can go to like the butterfly museum it means you can go to the tunnel under the falls there is some that go all the way up to like 80 something dollars so you can do all of it or you can just pick a few things but i recommend getting that pass if you've never done it um i'm absolutely sweating i'm gonna have to turn on the air conditioning we're gonna pop home now just to have some lunch um i had leftover chinese from last night so i'm gonna have that for lunch and then we need to go to the dollar store to pick up my container and then i'll show you what bath bombs i picked up too but i'm having a really good day out like so spontaneous let's just go to the but let's just go to the butterfly museum like why not i've got a ticket it was nice just to take myself somewhere and just chill for a bit but the butterflies were honestly beautiful so next stop is home so i've just got home and i'm having my takeout chinese takeaway that i didn't eat all of yesterday i have got black bean beef sesame chicken rice and noodles this lunch is going to be absolutely amazing sesame chicken in canada oh my god i've never had it before in england oh my god look at that it's so good so i'm just plating that up now and i'll show you it i completely forgot to show you my food i'm not gonna lie um as soon as it came out the microwave i was so hungry so i um I scoffed it down and that was my last takeout in a while. Me and Jake ordered takeout last night, takeaway, Chinese, whatever you want to call it. Well, if you're watching this, you're Canadian or from England. Um, we ordered it last night because it was like our last cheat meal. So as of like today, after the leftovers, so starting tomorrow is our diet. Well, I'm going to say diet very loosely. We don't diet, we just eat responsibly. Um, a lot of the time, we eat too big of portions for things there's only two of us and i like cook massive like meals and then i we overeat so we've decided to like go back to hello fresh because it's good portion control and obviously when we get in a lot at 10 p.m at night we're making massive meals but if we do hello fresh then i can um pick up like lighter meals that that when we finish at 10 p.m we can have like a lighter meal or i can make it in the morning and take it to work with us so starting next week we've started hello fresh again and we'll run we'll keep that going jake's joining the gym i'm not joining the gym just because i'm not a motivated person like that like i don't get motivated to go to the gym um i just want to keep continuing going on walks and hikes and do that sort of stuff but that was like my last takeout and i had the leftovers today and it tastes so good <laughs> and the good thing with like hello fresh though is that i actually enjoy all their mu meals um i don't mind getting it I, I the one thing i hate is getting home from work and thinking what am i gonna cook and now at least i'm gonna be getting five meals Easy. a week i could do with a nap but i'm not going to nap because if i nap now i won't sleep tonight and i've got work tomorrow for the first time in a long time so i'm gonna pop to the dollar store dollarama and just see if there is anything my bath bombs to go in because dollar tree was very disappointing as you know earlier but i feel like i've already had a very productive day um I also just uploaded a cost of living video onto my TikTok because everyone always asks me how much it is to live in Canada. So I just did an updated one. Um, I am actually planning to do a YouTube video of it too soon, of a more in-depth one. But this video is going good. They're getting loads of comments, which is good. I think we should do a little bit of carpool karaoke, don't you? What is going on with my phone? This is like my favorite song at the minute from Adele, I Drink Wine. Just let you know I can't sing, but I love a bit of carpool karaoke. 
what the hell is he doing? He's pulling a car that's broken. It's like, come drive with me. I love it. I haven't done one of these in ages. I love this song so much. I literally blast it like every day I'm in the car. <laughs> I've just probably embarrassed myself on my channel, but you know what? I love a good sing-along when I'm driving. Uh, if you enjoyed that, come drive with me, let me know. <laughs> but that whole song, wow, he lets people write on his car. That's interesting. Um, you'll see it here. Everyone's like, wrote on his car. Um, that whole song just took me to Dollarama, so that's how. <laughs> that was a perfect song timing. Maybe on the way back I can pick a different song and we can do another Come Drive With Me. I got what I needed, well I think anyway, it was only a dollar fifty, so it doesn't work then, but I think that's going to be thick enough. I put my lush bath bombs in my ba in my bathroom, um, so now we're going to go home. It's currently 5.15, Jake goes on his lunch break at 5.15, so I'll probably get home the same time as him. And we're going to have a little... <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna have a little sing-along on the way home i'm thinking of a crate um a country song this is basically a come drive with me at this point my whole vlog's just been in the car but i'm okay with that today let's have carolina love that song yeah let's have this version let's go home <laughs> Heads Carolina, tails California, maybe she fall from the boy from South Georgia, she's got a bomb, bomb on her head, she's a 90s country fan, like I am. Okay, so this is actually a lot smaller than I thought it was, I obviously thought this was smaller than this, but anyway, I'm going to have to go back tomorrow and get another one, but... I thought I would show you what I got from Lush and fill it up. So the first one I got is a new one that I've never actually got before and it's called Lump of Coal. It's like black and purple but it smells amazing. Um, it's got cinnamon in it and apparently it's to relax, relax your muscles. So I picked up that little lump of coal, look how cute he is, he's like smiling at you. But this is the residue so I'm not looking forward to my bath afterwards. <laughs> the colour of the bath is probably going to go like black. The next bath bomb is this sweet pudding, pudding one. It's like got almonds in it and it's like a nice soak. Um, it's a nice Christmas one too. And it smells amazing. So that's my second bath bomb. Pop that one just there. That fits in perfectly, but I think I need a bigger one. My third one is my favorite bath bomb of all, Lord of Misrule. It only comes out during Halloween. It's amazing, it's my favorite one. They have changed the color, they've added a pink in it. Normally it's all green. So that's my third one. So they're all the bath bombs and I picked up one bubble bar, which is one that you can use multiple times to make bubbles and it's a Christmas theme one, so I'll show you it. It's this little reindeer bubble bar. How cool is that? It smells incredible. It's definitely got a lot of cinnamon in, so nice and Christmas themed. And that's my only bubble bar. Um, his looks like his ears about to break off, so I'm gonna just squeeze him in here somewhere. But I definitely need um, a bigger one, but cute. I'm so happy with that. Okay, to end this vlog, I think I'm gonna have a bubble bath and have one of my new bath bombs. I think I'm gonna go for this one um apparently it's to like relax your muscles and things so i'll show you that once i pull it in i was gonna do my hair mask today but i'm gonna save that for another day so i'm gonna run a bubble bath and just chill 